Hello, this is Head to Head on UETV and I'm Alice Gerdjuk. Ten years ago, Ukraine became a full member of the World Trade Organization. This then is an excellent time for reflection on the relationship. How beneficial has this membership been for Ukraine? What has the country gained and what, if anything, may have been lost? To talk more about this, we welcome to the studio today Kristina Sheheitli, an international business strategist. Hello and thank you for joining us today. Hello. So WTO membership has become essentially a requirement for any country that seeks um, to integrate into the world economy. It's kind of, it's a reputation. So how has Ukraine been successful in this, in participation in WTO? Uh, okay, so um, let's understand one thing uh, that uh, uh, Ukraine is uh, um, one of the best uh, hub, economical hub uh, in the Europe. In and Europe, right in now. In Europe, yeah. And um, we have a lot of, of huge responsibilities here, and we need to uh, be able to, um, so we need to be strong in our uh, actions our positioning in Europe, especially in WTO. Mm -hmm. So um, here we need to uh, be concentrated and focused on uh, Ukraine, first of all, and then on other countries, on Europe and on WTO. WTO. Mm -hmm. so, what means stricter position to you in WTO? What uh, does this mean? Uh, so um, Ukraine is um, very strong country and very qualified country, not just in agriculture, but also in uh, medicine, in uh, technologies, in IT, so on. We have uh, very talented people here, and that's why we need to be um, positioned like a country uh, with very talented and qualified people, and with the economical, um, so with the not as agricultural country, but also as a uh, technical co country. Mm -hmm. So in WTO, uh, we need to be uh, positioned like a technical country more and like a country with, the, mm -hmm. uh, like, you know. Uh, Not only the breadbasket of the world, but yes. also like the modern yes, and developed course. country with many talented young people. Well, but, uh, what international partners has Ukraine gained throughout this time, throughout 10 years of participation because of the WTO? Now we have uh, the board, open borders uh, with the, the whole world and um, that of course help Ukraine uh, so much. Uh, so we have uh, a possibility to, to be presented in the whole world like a, an equal partner, uh, partner like an equal con. So um, the member of uh, the WTO in her world and we have our voice there and we have uh, a possibility to, um, to, to create and to uh, promote our projects, our uh, laws and so on, our needs and that's uh, which um, for Ukraine is um, the great, really great possibility cause, because uh, not a lot of institutions, especially international institutions, are um, so um, look for Ukraine as uh, as a great country. Let's speak uh, like this, okay? Um, so here we we are standing by um, so by the possibilities first of all, and uh, by the countries. So we have um, great uh, history with the uh, Europe with the uh, Chernogorya, with the, uh, with the, uh, the uh, uh, USA, with mm -hmm. Canada, with other countries. But could you compare how competitive the Ukrainian business used to be 10 years ago and how competitive is it now on the world scale? Okay. Uh, for uh, 2017, uh, we had the uh, GDP uh, uh, growth. Growth, yes, uh, we have uh, like uh, um, I, I think uh, uh, seventeen uh, on the place seventeen, uh, uh, comparing with uh, the other countries uh, in uh, Soviet countries. So mm -hmm. post Soviet countries, okay. post Soviet countries, yeah, and um, we have uh, the export. 
with the other countries, with the whole world, um, they equal uh, $3 million each month in 2017. And in 2018, uh, this, uh, uh, this index is uh, between uh, four and five million dollars uh, every month. So um, it's growing fast. Yeah, of course, and uh, it's happened because we um, we are working year by year, and um, uh, so the volume the growth. So mm -hmm. what about the large industry inherited uh, from the USSR? Uh, some of uh, agricultural company so. If we are speaking about the sectors, uh, it's um, agricultural and medicine and uh, technical sectors. The three top sectors we are uh, progressive on. Progressive, we are. Okay. Well, what about free trade agreement? I know that we signed free trade ag agreement with Canada. Recently, we completed uh, the process with Israel. And uh, now, currently, we're still finalizing uh, the free trade agreement with Turkey, if I'm not mistaken. How, how much is it helpful for Ukraine's economy? What does it change and what is the pace of those changes? Um, I think uh, it's uh, the one and only way for uh, Ukraine to grow up quickly uh, because uh, Ukraine, um, as I said before, um, it's a um, great possibility to be like a free um, platform for, um, for the, just, not just uh, for Europe, but for a whole world. Like uh, we have uh, ports, we have uh, um, our territory, we have uh, huge possibilities here. So um, I think we will go uh, to the model uh, like in um, uh, Emirates, uh, United Emirates or in other countries. So uh, we will have uh, a lot of such uh, mm -hmm. markets, uh, free markets here in our territory in Ukraine. And uh, that will help. Um, so we need just to make a system here, a clear and a transparency system in Ukraine, for, uh, especially for free markets here, just to open Ukraine for the whole world, for entire world. To okay? open the market, okay. Yeah. Do you mean to uh, open our goods, um, I mean being exported from Ukraine, or you mean to open markets so investors come and they invest in, the, in um, ent enterprises here in Ukraine? Um, First of all, we before before open our markets for um, in other countries for other companies uh, worldwide. We need to uh, to have a strong uh, system for um, uh, the uh, Ukrainian companies. Uh, so for Ukrainian markets, so we have uh, to make some rules mm -hmm. uh, which will help uh, first of all Ukrainian markets and and then uh, the other words. So yes, um, uh, there are two. Uh, two ideas here. The first, it, uh, it's uh, uh, I think uh, investments, not op not open markets for 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 others, but the investments. So positioning Ukraine as uh, um, at the very um, uh, clear, very open country with a big with the huge possibilities here, with the clear system, with the rules, uh, with the insurance, a strong insurance system, uh, especially in the economical side. So um, I think it will begin. Mm -hmm. well, and the very last question, how did this progress that we opened up our market, our borders for exporting and importing different goods, how did it change the life of a regular Ukrainian in different sectors? You know, um, the concurrence is good in uh, different ways and different fields in our life, especially for, uh, for Ukrainians. Um, it's good to understand that we have uh, a, a big concurrence with the, uh, with the biggest, with so the competition strongest. competition helps the growth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. So uh, that's why we will work more and harder and so will be, I think, will be better and biggest. So um, this um, um, a little thing about uh, the psychology of Ukrainians uh, before uh, before opening our borders for um, for the whole world, we need to uh, understand 
before opening. We need to understand that we need to, um, to make some home task to be... Um, to be to comply with yeah. the international standards yeah. and requirements, probably. Of course. Okay, well, thank you so much for your thank comments you. and for this conversation. Thank you so much. That was Christina Shehaitli, an international business strategist. Thank you for watching UATV and stay tuned for more.